Sharks Cove, a ton of crabs. Those waist high, deep, they'll swim right through your legs. Shishi is a good remedy. And let the fish swim to you. See, look at that. A ton of fish. <laughs> Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. And if you're guessing, yeah, you can hear the noise with the roosters in the background. Your boy's still in Hawaii. Now, check it out. I'm going to take you guys on a little trip. And you guys are going to have an absolute blast when you see what we do. I'm going to take you guys to uh, probably, I don't know, one of Hawaii's best, maybe in the world, tide pools. Of people see tide pools here and there. Oh, it's low tide. Oh, it's high tide. Let's go check out the tide pools. I'm going to take you guys to Shark's Cove. It's on the North Shore here on Oahu. And you guys are absolutely going to, I don't know, lose your mind. That's what I did. Or I should say that's what my kids did. This is a place that we used to come when we were kids. I hope you guys enjoy this video. But before I go, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is the perfect opportunity right now. Hit that subscribe button. Next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just a notification bell. It's gonna notify you when I upload a new video. And of course you notice the new coconut hat. I gotta give a huge shout out to my cousin Lana and Mona. Thank you guys so much for the coconut hat. I absolutely love it. Anyways, take care and I'll see you guys in a little bit, all right? Check out this. All right, we are here at Shark's Cove, better known as Pupukea Beach. Behind me, as you can see, a ton of tide pools. This is probably the Mecca of tide pools. If you're looking for tide pools, this is the place here on the North Shore, Sharks Cove, Pupukea Beach. We're gonna get some action inside here. There's a ton of fish in this area. So it's a really cool area to go snorkeling in. And uh, I'm just showing you the land. I'm showing you where we grew up, how we grew up, and what we did for fun back in the day. As you can see, there's a ton of people here. And I'm here showing my family Pupukea Beach. Let's go check it out. All right, boys, here are my youngest ones. We got Mikhail and Kona. You guys already know. You guys excited to go into Shark's Cove? Yeah. Yeah, oh, you got your coconut hat. Where's your coconut hat from? It's, it's from Uncle Aaron. Yeah, Uncle Aaron. So you guys ready to go down and check it out? Yeah. See some Shark's Cove action? All right, let's go. Look at the water, look how pristine. All right, here, here come the troopers, hiking down the trail. You got them? All right, you got them? Yeah. All right, so we just made our way down the trail to Shark's Cove, AKA Pupukea Beach. And let's go check out the tide pools. This is like one humongous tide pool. And I'm seeing crabs, I'm seeing all kinds of gobies already. We haven't even gone inside, so let's go. Okay, right here, you can already see tiny little fish here look at them super tiny little fish i don't know what type of fish they are oh look who we found mr crab over here eating check them out oh there's a ton of crabs here they're all hanging out you go to try to grab them watch how fast they are watch how fast i'll get in real close oh here you go there's one right here what's up bud what's up they are all just hanging out. If you look really good in the in the rocks, you'll see all the crabs. They're all hanging out in here. Oh, look at the fish. You guys see the fish right in here? You see them moving, swimming in the water here? Look at, you can see the fish right here, swimming right next to us. Look at them all. Right in here. Boys, this is the secret. If you stay still, they'll swim right through your legs if you don't move. So find a good spot and then just stay still and they'll just swim right between your legs. You see them? Pretty cool, right? Look at them all. Some nice fish. And then when you move, it doesn't disturb the water so you can actually see the fish. That's the move. See, everybody tries to chase the fish. Just stay still and let them swim to you. See, look at that. Crystal clear water. We can see the fish swimming through. See, basically that's the trick. Just find a spot, stay still and be patient and the fish will actually swim to you. A lot of tourists come here and they start chasing the fish around, splashing, making noise, and then the fish just swim away from you. So that's the key. If you ever come to Shark Cove, just stay still and let the fish swim to you. You can see them, perfectly clear water. It's crystal clear water actually. So let's go see what else we can uh, find. Okay, so right now I'm in about almost waist high deep water. So we're just basically walking through and as you get further down over there, the water gets a little bit deeper, but this is like the perfect area to go snorkeling in, you know? 
You can snorkel in here, some crystal clear water with the fish swimming. You can actually see them right there swimming. Uh, there's a nice little sandbar right there, a real super, super shallow sandbar, like ankle, shin high. So we're gonna go cruise up over here in this shallow area. Man, these fish are so nice. Look at this one over here. Just cruising through the rocks. You see them? Right there. Finding some, finding some shelter. So pretty, right? You got this one over here, digging through the sand. I don't know if that's a type of wrasse. All my salty heads out there. You guys know what kind of fish that is? Let me know. Try not to stand on any of these rocks because you definitely don't want to stand on a sea urchin or vana, okay? Uh, that'll be bad news for you. So remember when I was talking about vana? This is vana right here, AKA sea urchin. This is the sea urchin you definitely don't want to stand on. That one right there, take a trip to the hospital right there, so. Or if you do get stung by the vana, shishi on it, okay? That'll take the pain away momentarily. Shishi is a good remedy for vana. Shishi is uh, pee or urine. <laughs> That's the Hawaiian remedy. But you can see right here, the spikes. You see those spikes? Ooh-wee. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle, because you don't want them to poke you. See that? That is the vana. And if you're walking and you kind of put your hand here to rest and you don't see the vana and you stab your hand, ooh, that could hurt. If you guys want to touch the vana, you can touch yeah. it this way. Just nice and soft right in here. Just softly like this, okay? You guys want to touch? No? Go ahead, just pet it downwards, okay, like this. You can just feel the, the prickly. Go ahead, pet it down, you're fine. Oh, yeah. There you go. That, that's Vana. Oh, yeah. Big needle, super pokey too. Super pokey. Definitely don't want to walk on the rocks because of the sea urchins and Vana, so. Oh, look at this big school of fish right in here. Check them out, I'm gonna get some underwater footage of these guys. Now as we dip underwater, this never gets old. Look at, just a different world underwater. Look at this huge school of Trevally. I think this is Trevally fish, silver Trevally. Uh, just, I mean, I don't know, hundreds of them. And look at this parrotfish I come across. This parrotfish just swims out nonchalantly from the rocks, sifting through the sand. Look how beautiful, purple tail, green body, teal, some orange in it. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. The parrotfish, look at that. And then I believe as we scan back here, the school just hanging out. Not spooked, not scared. A lot of people come to Sharks Coast. So I'm pretty sure they're used to the people. But look at that, huh? Beautiful. Now look at this. You can see a convict. I think this is a convict fish. Correct me. Some tangs over here. Hanging out in the rocks. Chipping away. What tangs do. Eating little particles of something. But it's so amazing to capture this footage underwater. For you guys. But look at You can see. Some more Trevally tangs just hanging out. The boys uh, said that they found a huge goby fish. So we're going to go in and check it out here. And uh, yeah, they were pretty, pretty spot on. It was a pretty big goby. A healthy, healthy, big adult goby right here. You can see they kind of blend in with the rocks. He'll swim out. There you go. Looking like a big lizard, huh? They're not too much color with these gobies here, but... They are pretty neat to watch jump from tide pool to tide pool. They will literally jump in the air and, and go from tide pool to tide pool. Here I am grabbing this beautiful crab I wanted to show you just because of the colors. Look at the legs, orange, kind of purplish black. It had green eyes, but this big barnacle shell it was hilarious because I'm like, this little thing can lug around this big shell. Kind of felt bad for him, so I'm going to go ahead and stick him back on, on a rock here. And you'll see him come out. Look at him. Now you can appreciate his beauty. Look at him. And he gets that rock around. <laughs> of course, it doesn't weigh that much when it's underwater. But still, it's an amazing home he's got. Back to the gobies here, though. Look at them. They're so fast, agile, quick. Two of them actually roll up on each other. Look at them right here. They're like, hey, what's up? What's up, Ralph? Hey, what's up, Jim? What's going on? They're just hanging out, though. Pretty neat to capture them in the wild, though. 
amazing. Look at this is water coming in from the ocean. Now, basically, Shark's Cove is surrounded by lava rock, rock mainly. Um, but yeah, it's it's an amazing water comes in from different ends and points. This is a aerial view of uh, Shark's Cove. And as you can see, we zoom in. That's where we enter from the beach area. And then that's where we're actually at that circle uh, snorkeling, looking at all the, the wildlife. Now, they call it Shark's Cove, not because there's sharks here, uh, but just because the rock formation resembles a shark. As you can see in this picture here, to me, it looks like a hammerhead shark. So you can see I have the cutout of a silhouette of a hammerhead. Uh, and that's why they call it Shark's Cove. Now, everyone has their own opinion on what type of shark. But for me, it's the hammerhead. Now, check these out. These are needlefish, which are super cool. Um, you don't see these too often, but they are cruising around like a little mini family of needlefish swimming which is amazing to catch on video. There it is, Shark's Cove, better known as Pupukea Beach on the North Shore. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you guys are learning a lot of the Hawaiian culture and all the hot spots. I'm taking you guys to all the secret spots. Other than that, my ohana, take care and I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. <laughs> Fake a pay, Mukuku, how you hook your ill in my near garage.